it's like full self driving and just overriding my commands. It doesn't even want to do it. Minimal lane chains on and it's still moved over. And you're slowing down, there's no need to slow down. It's an empty lane, moving lane back itself to the center lane. Okay, and it's still moving over. And it's just not going and still lowering its speed. It didn't even want to change lanes. It just, I don't know, it just feels like full self driving isn't doing what it needs to do or actually kind of prefer version 11. Hey everyone, just another Tesla thought here. Just got the update to version 12.3.4. Gonna take it to a supermarket, picking up some groceries and coming back home. Gotta give it a test, gotta give it a test. Tesla cracking out these updates super quick. I was on dot three last week and got dot, sorry, I was on 12.3, dot that one uh, a couple weeks ago and I switched to dot three in the last video and here we are with dot four. So not really any notes updates here just by saying uh, FSD Supervise version 12.3.4. So once um, I can turn right here, I'll engage full self-driving it's going to be a couple of the same path on the highway, uh, seeing how it will perform at the exit. Hope it doesn't curve. Um, and at the other exit 9, hopefully it will take the correct, uh, it will exit on time. But yeah, engaging full self driving and seeing how it performs. Also notice that I don't have the auto set speed on. Um, I turn it off because I really want to be able to control the speeds when I'm on the streets. And um, you can't really do that when you, if you have the auto set speed turned on. Right? It's slow down for that bump. I usually I always slow down for that bump right there and seeing the car slow down there. It's pretty, pr pretty good. Right, yeah, but in my last video, um, 12.3.3 had some improve. I don't, I don't want to say it was improvement, but a little bit of change, a little bit difference compared to 12.3.2.1. Um, so, and it was raining, so maybe that kind of affected the full self driving performance. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below the like button. Um, but yeah, it, it still had some minor annoyances so we'll see how this one is going we can turn a little bit to the left so you should yeah all right good job it went to the left side just like it should but it's going a little too slow okay i wanted to take over but uh there wasn't any car behind me but now there is so i'm gonna go i'm press on the pedal to go a little bit faster and I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Will it curve here? I'll be ready to take over if it does curve. It seems too close, so I just take take over. Likely, what's gonna the wheel on the left? Uh, the car is too close to the curb, and likely will go on the curb. All right. So I send that recording back to Tesla. Uh, same thing happened last video. Since seem to happen again today, so I did take over this time because it was just too close. It's likely same incident, same scenario. The back left wheel would go on the curb, uh, so I disengage. All right, engaging full self driving. I'm gonna be ready to let me just lower the max speed so. Going at the speed limit and plenty of time to move over right here and it doesn't even want to do it so i have my blinkers on i turn on the blinkers that was not even full self driving uh, that was me so full self driving that does not want to exit on the exit ramp despite the maps telling it to exit okay, so i sent that note to tesla maybe they cannot trust it but Past couple of versions, it would not take the exit. But I have seen the same thing with version 11 as well, where it would not take the exit 
unless I'm going on the west side. All right, okay, stuck in traffic here, great. And just engaging full cell driving. Because these two lanes will merge into one, so we'll see how this how full cell driving performs. Here, if there's if the exit is still flooded, and it is, so I'm disengaged and move over to the left side. Uh, you just flag that to Tesla. Disengage to avoid flood on the ramp. I think hopefully they would address that in the next update. setting minimal lane chains on and it still moved over to the rightmost lane it didn't stay wide likely because these cars were going slower than my set speed limit of 55 and there's and it saw a car on the passing lane on the left lane so it didn't take that side but I don't want that I, I'm okay I'm comfortable with it being staying here so what does the minimal lane change actually do anymore and it's slow down for this car that's merging in great job so yeah what does the minimal lane change does if it doesn't i mean maybe less lane changes if i had that off there would have been even more lane changes but i just wish there was a setting to say no lane change because it's those two cars on the left side that was ahead of me and I'm still here. Like, I didn't go that much faster. I mean, I should be even slower. I'm just gonna push it back to the middle lane because the car passing by me. All right. Clear to go. Yep. I know eventually when we get near the entrance there'll be cars merging in on the right side uh, I just want to stay in the middle lane or if the fast lane allows I'll just bump up the speed and stay in the leftmost lane still going at 46, 47, like, why does it feel so slow with this version 12? And you're slowing down, there's no need to slow down, it's an empty lane, so I'm pressing on the pedal for it to go right now. I actually don't remember it being like this on version 11, it's only version 12 that I see it have this behavior where it doesn't really want to follow the speed despite me setting the speed to 65. It's super clear in front of me and it's just not going until I press on the pedal for it to go. And it's moving lanes over back itself to the center lane. Okay, and it's still moving over. It moved over two lanes and doesn't give me a reason as to why it's doing that when this lane has been merged back in. So why couldn't it just stay in the left lane? Why did it have to move over in the first place? and 
still lowering its speed and not going at 65. It didn't even want to change lanes. What the hell? What the hell? I indicated to change lanes if, and it didn't even want to change lanes. I literally have no control. I told it not to change lanes and it changed lanes. I told it to move to the left lane and it won't change lanes. It's, I told it to go faster and it's not going faster. Uh, it literally doesn't want to listen. Full so driving. Uh, is this a movie? Is this where car takes over? What's happening? What's happening here? Trying one more time. Change lanes. And it, it does it this time. But it doesn't speed up to 65 when it can. So I'm pushing on the pedal for it to go. It's like full self driving and just overriding my commands. There's no need to slow down. I'm just gonna push on the pedal for it to go. It went from 65 to slower down to 60. The car is behind me. Uh, it just, I don't know, it just feels like full self driving isn't doing what it needs to do or it's not following the commands. Of faster speed, this car almost merging and cause a crash to avoid the bus. So I'm gonna speed past this car so I don't have to be with them. And I'm just gonna move over to the middle lane. I'm gonna exit soon. gives it the videos of well-behaved drivers I'm sure following the speed limit a full stop on stop signs and that's what the car is learning so maybe that's why it's not going at a faster speed because uh, drivers follow the speed limit are the videos that Tesla has some definitely improvements but I might actually prefer version 11 because it actually behaves the way I expect it to behave right. let's see how it'll get over here let's move over and it doesn't take it this car right here that was pretty impressive okay it's over here Pretty impressive exiting right there and moving over. All right. I have a parking lot here. I cannot disengage. Can find a spot to park. So for the most part, this um, this drive is very similar to version 12.3.1 which is also very similar to version 12.3.3 the issues I had with it not exiting at exit 9 and taking the correct ramp on time and when it exit the highway it would uh, want to curb so that also happens and just it doesn't seem like it's an improvement for the most part compared to each other and um, but what I have noticed is that it just seems to not listen and override my commands. So 
those are the stuff that I wish can be addressed. But waiting for more new updates. I'm sure, it's coming out quickly. As evident how quickly that one, that three, that four is coming out. Um, so I'll stay tuned for that. But let me know what you thought of this drive down in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching this one. Bye for now.